Hi, this is Sue Kaufman, and my Facebook fitness group wants me to make a stretching video because we're in the middle of a challenge where we need to do flexibility at least once a week. So these are my favorite stretches that I like to do. I just put a whole bunch of them together. So we'll start with head rolls, That's and we'll go from head down to toes. So we'll start with some head rolls, and just put your hands, relax them. Shoulders down, nice slow roll with your head. We'll do three one way and then three the other way. Don't tip your head back, just forward and then normal position on the way up through. So there's three and then the other way. One, two. Next one is a head or neck stretch. So we just stretch the head over to the side and then tilt it. If it's straight like this, just tilt it forward a little bit or to the side a little bit. And reach, if your head is tilting to the right, reach with your left arm down as far as you can. Give you a really good stretch along your neck right here. Hold that for a little bit, and then switch to the other side. So your head goes to the side, and then tilts forward just a little, and then reach your fingertips down as far as you can. It gives you a really good stretch to the side of your neck. All right, next one, shoulder rolls. So again. Shoulders relaxed. There's my dog Mocha walking on through. Shoulders relaxed. Circles back. We'll do five. What's wrong, Mocha Mocha? And then five forward. And now do arm circles. So back, just like you're swimming. Five. Let the other one just relax along the side of your body. Don't shrug your shoulders. Five. The other side. Swim forward. Five. Reach back as far as you can. Up as far as you can. Forward as far as you can. And don't forget to breathe. Five on the other one. Should have your neck stretched out pretty well on your shoulders. Now here's a nice shoulder stretch across your body. Your arm out straight. It's holding right below your elbow. Stretch it over. Ooh, that feels good. And then on the other side, same thing. You can also hold it, hold onto your shoulder and then use your forearm to bring your arm across. And the next one's a side stretch. So bring your feet so they're very, very close together. This arm's going to reach down while the other one reaches up over. And you can look at 
stretch your raised arm while you're stretching the lowered one down your leg. And now, excuse me, switch. Same thing on the other side. Now here's one I like. What you're going to do is you are going to curl your vertebrae down one at a time so that you're bending your neck first, then your shoulders nice and slow. One vertebrae at a time until you're hanging. You just hang and breathe. Up. Roll up. You can bend your knees just a little bit and roll up one vertebrae at a time. I'm going to put my hood down. Now you put your feet a little farther apart. This time you're going to keep your back flat. So arms out, back flat, folding until your back's flat. Now take your arms, fold them, and your head goes down. I would like my feet a little further apart. And then it's rocking back and forth. While we're here down here, we're going to do one called stir the pot. So, arms uncrossed, and you can put one on your on your thigh, and then just a circle. It looks like you're stirring a big pot of soup or something. And then make it go the other way. Now this one can go up. Stirring pot on the other side. And now bend your knees and slowly curl up. Oh, feels good. Now we're moving on to your legs. This one's a quad stretch. So holding the front part of your foot, and if you need to hold on to something to do this, that's fine. Now see how my knee is pointing down, I'm not pulling it out this way or anything, so straight down, just pulling on your foot so that you can feel stretch right here. And switch, other leg. Your balance might be better on one side than it is on the other. So you might waver a little on one side rather than the other. Alright, now your hamstrings. You can lean up against something or hands down on the floor. I'll lean against this pole. So I'm going to lean here. One knee bent, the other leg is straight. And you're pushing forward toward the pole. You should feel it in the back of your leg, your calf, and your hamstring. Switch legs. And switch other leg. Your balance might be better on one side than it is on the other. Waver a little on one side rather than the other. Alright, now your hamstrings. You can 
lean up against something or hands down on the floor, I'll lean against this pole. So I'm going to lean here, one knee bent, the other leg is straight, and you're pushing forward toward the pole. You should feel it in the back of your leg, your calf, and your hamstring. And then switch legs. Next one is an adductor stretch. These are these muscles right here. So your legs are more than shoulder width apart. This knee's going to bend. This leg stays straight. Hands on to the floor, keeping both soles of your feet on the ground. You should feel it right here. Walk your hands on the other side. Well, this next one's called a runner stretch. You're just going to move your feet so that now you're going to the side. Now you can come up, hold it here. So you're you're bending this leg, this one's staying straight, or you can come all the way down here, the hands on the floor, or one hand up, one hand on the floor. And then to the other side. This one's bent about 90 degrees, the other one's straight. to the ground. This one is a seated butterfly stretch. Soles of your feet together, women as far as you can comfortably, but you want to be sitting up so that your back is straight, not hunched forward. Back straight. Then push your elbows into your knees. And you should feel it right in here. You can hold them here here and push lightly with your elbows. Remember to sit up straight. Alright, so next one is kind of like a pretzel. Alright, feet are out straight. Bring one foot over the other one, like so, and then your body is going to twist in the opposite direction of this foot. Now, your hand or your elbow goes against your bent knee. Your back arm is right behind your back. Hey, Mocha. Yes, I love you. Down my face. And now, you're going to look back and try to look behind you. Don't forget to breathe. Alright, and then we have to do the other side. And now, opposite foot, up. Hug it in. You can also do this one where you just hug your leg and you'll get a nice stretch here. So for a little extra stretch, the elbow up and pull back. Alright, now let's get a really good, good deep hamstring stretch. Bring one leg in against the straight leg. So your legs are like a number four, arms up, 
you're going to reach down as far as you can over your toe and hold it and breathe. Slowly, you don't have to do the other side, same thing, figure four, arms up, and lower, and hold. If you can only get to here, that's fine, just hold, just hold here and come down as far over your leg as you can. Think about getting your head as far forward as you can, as well as bringing it in low. straight, your feet are flexed, not pointing, flexing, arms up straight, and down over. Alright. Now, the next one, I'll go sideways. It might be easier for you to see what's happening. For this one, you're lying down. Arms are out. Your feet are up. And your legs are bent at 90 degrees. Now, your legs are going to go, mine are going to the right, and I'm going to look to the left. This is a great stretch for your spine. You can even take one hand and put it on your top knee to really feel that stretch. And for an even deeper stretch, you can bring one leg over the bent knee. And then we go the other way. So bring your legs up. Now my legs are going to the left. And I'm looking to the right. And for a deeper stretch. And this stretches your, your hips. Some of the external hip rotator muscles. Last one is called child's pose. For this one, you're on your knees. And then lower down so your hips are on top of your feet. Arms out. And relax. Want a better stretch? One hand over to the side, put the other one on there. Feel it all the way up and down your side, and then switch to the other side. And up. Now, you should be feeling pretty good about now. You should be feeling all stretched out and don't ignore flexibility if you're working out you're doing cardio you're doing resistance training you should always do some flexibility because it makes it it makes it less likely that you'll get injured and you'll have a better range of motion right mocha yeah okay we'll see you next time bye bye